I abandoned my child! best friends yep <laughs> he, just, he just fell asleep <laughs> I, <can't. laughs> I told you let's do it at the end of the episode <laughs> there's no way i can do I can that do it. shit hold on. it's fucking music okay. playing hold on i was getting into it Give away my son. <laughs> it's like you're having a nightmare or something, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to get deep on the time. Damn, man, you're Again. on the spot. I can't! I abandoned my <laughs> I don't think you would say it that angry. <laughs> I abandoned my son! <laughs> Who does it like that? <laughs> he does, he does. He <laughs> I abandoned my child! Why? Why? I abandoned my child! <laughs> Damn, the fucking Red Bulls are running. <laughs> I am. Why, why didn't you just hit puberty? I feel like I'm in Juilliard. <laughs> Is this what it's like? And it's just I like been, a I've yeah, like in a dorm room, room at Juilliard. <laughs> it's just two room, it's two roommates screaming. Oh, that sucks, I man. I been in my child. <laughs> I abandoned my child. I left my child. At I abandoned my child. My child. I abandoned. My child! I left you my child! I abandoned my child! God damn it! My child! I left you! Why did you do the same thing? <laughs> I've lost my voice. <laughs> I thought I had the better range there. It's like, it's like we're fucking... Um, <laughs> Alright, are we done now? I can, uh, I can put no, the headphones we, back on? Like Denzel Washington. Filming. Denzel Washington. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, we've been... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Significant Brothers. I can't oh, hear man. that I'm this close to throwing up. I'm like throwing up. <laughs> I'm over. I'm over here crying because the two of you just put in such emotional performances. This is the stupidest podcast on planet Earth. I gave up my child. That is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's how a psychopath would say. I, I gave I up gave my child. That, I gave up that little motherfucker. I abandoned my child. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, Middle Eastern? <laughs> what can I do? Hey, my, my child, I left him in a ditch. Blue Putin ate my child. <laughs> that kid is a piece of shit. I go to America, Putin take my child, that's all good. I give birth to that kid myself and he got beat up by a cat. What would be a happy way to, like, <laughs> I abandoned my child? <laughs> oh, I abandoned that guy. I chose the cat over the kid. You talking about my kid? chose the cat over the kid. <laughs> you hey, talking about what? my kid? I abandoned him. Hey, that kid, I, I abandoned him, that bastard. <laughs> all right, Joey Chestnut. Oh, whatever. Hey, after after eating about thirty five hot dogs, I abandoned that kid. <laughs> Joey Chestnuts. Hey, I'm Joey Chestnuts. Yeah. <laughs> so I stepped onto the scale. I'm the fucking. Oh yeah. So I bought one of those fancy scales. Do you know what they are? Uh, the ones that tell you how much B BMI you got. <laughs> oh, total. No, I, oh. I think you would prefer that. It says off the <laughs> charts. O T C. I wish it stopped there. <laughs> what? So okay, how no. big is it? How big is it? Paint a picture. So Kayla, for Christmas. Well, that would be a mean gift. But <laughs> <laughs> I no, we had leftover I've FSA money at the end of the year. We went to the FSA store and we got um, FSA's flexible spending for like healthcare. Okay, okay. You put it in its pre-tax dollars, and you have some leftover money. You kind of have to spend it before the end of the year if you haven't spent it already. So she went to the FSA store and she purchased. The fuck is an FSA store? It literally is online. FSA store dot com. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I thought it was a physical store. No. And our scale's a little older. I liked it that way. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> it's 100% mechanical. <laughs> <laughs> it has like the little d it's dial that, like, it's like the guess your weight machine. <laughs> <laughs> it's, off, bought, it's off by 50 pounds. She bought one of those ones that send electrical impulses, and it's all attached oh, to an app, and it tells you your subcutaneous uh, fat, your. 
your bone density, what your the muscle fuck content. Is this? Yeah, like everything. You know, fucking Tony Stark designed that? Pretty much. So I stepped on it. And it's accurate? Well, I hope not. A, I hope not. Snake oil, for, yeah. For, for my health sake. Um, <laughs> you're fucked. So there's ranges. There's like, you know, low, where you're supposed to be, like optimal, average. Then it goes like fat, then it's obese, and then excess. Yeah, yeah. I was excess in everything. <laughs> mm. Like everything. <laughs> Except like the good things. Mm -hmm. So Abby's on the road to lose weight so we can so get yes, back to obese. Now I've been on the <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just I'm on the road to obese now. <laughs> I'm trying back. to move towards obese <laughs> in everything. It to be fair, I, I was right on the cusp of obese. <laughs> yeah, so you'll get there sooner rather than later, buddy. Right on the cusp. I think I'm on the cusp of overweight. But the one excess I'm yoked as fuck, it muscle composition. So very interesting. Right, I uh, it tells you how much basically like your organs weigh, your bones and everything. So if you were zero percent body fat, so if you got a fatty liver, and knew you got a fatty liver, essentially, who knows how accurate is this it is. machine? But it, it tells you like zero. You know how someone's like, oh, I want to weigh one fifty, but it tells you at zero percent body fat, literally how much my bones weigh oh. and how much my organs weigh. Like, motherfucker, that's impossible. On top of like You'd have to muscle, lose muscle composition. Mass. Yes, right. On top of muscle composition, if I was zero percent body fat. How much would you weigh? 174 pounds. So if I'm and how much do you weigh now? Excess. You never ask a lady his weight. Excess. No, right now over two. Okay, of yeah, course. Way over uh, two fifty. Over two fifty. So this is where I start. Can't to get be nervous. over two fifty. <laughs> Don't tell me. Zero that. body fat. So you're saying damn near 80 pounds of fat on you? No way. I don't see it. 80 pounds? Thanks, sis. How much does that look like? You know how they show the little scale? I didn't say like, it was 250. Can you stop rolling I'm with it. I'm saying over or below. <laughs> slightly below. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> um, slightly. Yeah. So that's where I got kind of alarmed. 249. You know, yeah, 0.8. <laughs> it literally was. The first like time. He had so, to take off his hat for it. When I lost all my weight, right? When yes. I was like super trim wedding, in Montauk that age. summer. No, no, no. M wedding, I was like 25 pounds over like my skinniest. Okay. Where I trimmed everything, was running like crazy, was working out like crazy. I was 195. Damn. So that shows you that I was at. We're almost at the same weight then at that moment. Yeah, but I was at like 12% body fat. Like a very lean body fat composition. Mm -hmm. Let's um, have a Montauk challenge. Even if it was 10%. Well, that's what I'm, tr I'm trying to get yoked by Montauk. What my, year is that? What I it mean, basically month. tells me is that my good standing weight that's like healthy. Is I got about 200. Is like 205 to 210. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Where it's like you got a little bit of fat on you, but you're still enjoying a little life. You could eat. And you look great and everything. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, basically, long story short, I'm trying to get down to that. Uh, the only thing I was excess versus the normal population range weight and everything was muscle mass, which is mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. Which is nice. I'm yoked. Um, yeah, the only thing stopping me from going to the gym is a car. I need to buy a car. But luckily, it looks like the market's coming back down for the used car market. Yeah. The fuck was that? Why'd you just do a whistle <laughs> note? Yeah! Oh, I lost my voice in the uh -oh. Daniel Day-Lewis challenge. <laughs> 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 um <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's coming down, but I'm not sure it's coming down to your levels. I almost bought Like, you a, saw the Tesla drop, like, $20,000. It's still $40,000 away from well, what I you didn't know afford. that, actually. No, I don't want a Tesla. I was going to buy an old, broken-down uh, Porsche that doesn't run. You're not going to buy a Porsche. <laughs> but I, I didn't buy it. <laughs> You're going to buy a car that doesn't run so yeah, that you yeah, can't yeah. go to the that gym. That was the most yeah, Leandro yeah. roundabout way. <laughs> <laughs> but you know I'd fix it. I'd fix it. Do I know that? Yeah. <laughs> well, what's your goal? You said Montauk YouTube Challenge. Videos. What's your goal for Montauk? Uh, right now I'm 190. Hmm. Flat? Yeah. Not even 0. 0.2? Mm-mm. Flat. Well, I have an even older scale than you do. <laughs> it's really so, 230. I mean, I wish I was 230. This, That'd be pretty His gnarly, scale is so old it tells him to smoke a cigarette. That'd be pretty fire. Yeah, right. Smoke Why don't you step on the scale slowly. downstairs? Maybe. So you can see all the, Maybe. all the good stuff. Maybe. It'll be like, LOL, your body is dense. Um, I want to know how much I would, yeah, I would like to see that that feature. Like, how much would you weigh at 0% body fat? That'd be yeah, insanity. 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 Uh, yeah, you know, so that's my life's crisis right now. But I've been going to the gym. Mm -hmm. I'm back. Mm -hmm. I'm back. My shoulder feels good. Uh, I've been going six days a week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I've, you know. I'm, You've gained weight, you said. No, oh, but no, you, no, no. no I've, it show, I've noticed loss. It shows that, like, though, it could just be even. You can out, be right? even in, <clears throat> in your weight. But, but your it'll muscles show the other things shifting. like growing. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. That's and cool. the less sub. The thing that scared me the most was visceral fat. 
being what, in that? excess of visceral fat. So visceral fat, you it's can be skinny organs? and still have visceral fat. It's mm-hmm. what's around your organs, and that's what leads to like death. And that was excess. See, guys, <laughs> by, by the next session, <laughs> by the next session, you'll see that I have too much visceral fat, and then I'm gonna get lean again. <laughs> that's but the you lean don't. noise. Do you ever work out at home? Like, do you ever do home workouts? Do you no. just have like the good like no. body genes? Mm-hmm. No homo. Does he have good body genes? I mean, I think I do. No, I know, but you used to work out a lot. <laughs> no, never a lot. I mean, in college, I, I used in to college work. You were working out like. I mean, but even then, I was never like the most I ever was was about one sixty. You know, my child. You abandoned him. <laughs> I was about one sixty in college, so even then, it wasn't like you know. Did you feel comfortable at that weight? Uh, yeah. I mean, I think I could have gotten up, but it was just my body wasn't allowing me. I think I was pretty lean. Pretty lean. Lean, lean Andrew. Oh. Yeah. Lean the mean Andrew. Um, so <clears throat> how about, uh, what's it? who was it, Florida? That piece of shit. Oh, yeah, Florida's Flo- taking money from Flo- me. Florida's taking down our podcast. $83 million against Celsius. Celsius dropped 10% in their That's stock. an average. They're a very volatile stock. Now they're volatile uh, right now. They're uh, volatizzy. Have you ever heard of a fluffer? <laughs> yeah, like you, you, you puff my cuck. Yeah, so you do know what a fluffer is. Yeah. I, think we I thought know. I would know about this, and I didn't know about it. I was listening to Riley Reed. You talk had never, about you, wait, you had never heard of that before, like recently. I didn't know it had an actual term. With her ex boyfriend, right? Was it with her ex boyfriend? She had her baby on her lap. No, you're thinking of Lana Rhodes. Oh yeah, who and did you just Blake say? Griffin's baby? Look, Riley Reed, the one with the Chinese tattoos. Oh, in I the know back. who Riley Reed really is. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah I know yeah, you yeah, do. Yeah, of course. Uh, she was talking about how most dicks in porn are now prosthetic. What the fuck? <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> so they don't even need a fluffer anymore because there's literally these guys have taken so much PEDs that their dick basically has broken. Like work. So they get implants of like a plastic tube that they you like You know inflate. what's crazy, Jack and Abby? It's, <laughs> it's, it's cool. Which I love. Yo, it's almost like you answered one of my, my overarching questions, right? You know, as of late, I've been really examining the pornographic material out on the on the market today. <laughs> so you've been and, breaking down the old twenty two. <laughs> and I thought that I was like, "Yo, how are all these dudes' dick just like it, they're like malleable?" Rock. Oh, what do you mean malleable? Means they're huge, like, but like squishy. Like you can, you can still like move it around. You know what I mean? I'm like, how the fuck is that a thing? Why isn't your cock hard? Like it should be hard. It's not right. It's, it's just, just like straight. It's almost like a dildo. Like right, you know, like right, it's like yes. floppy. Like I'm like, how the fuck is this even a thing? No, you just answered it. Yes, it's all prosthetics. What the? F- so anybody can get into the market, really? Well, no, your dick is still your dick size. Oh, oh, oh! I see. They're not it's, adding skin. It's not like a silicone penis over no, no, their it's, penis. It's <laughs> in your actual penis. Yeah, but oh. it's it's an implant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, right. That's crazy. As fuck. And it essentially like puffs up. I don't know if they like physically can <laughs> squeeze it to puff it Put up. Put a fucking or bike pump happens. on your cock. <laughs> No, I literally think... <laughs> and it's literally a puffer, <laughs> an inflator for your dick. But it, what's crazy in the old days, was the fluffer... What would they do? Like a production assistant, or were they a porn star? Yeah, like... Like the person who was keeping people hard. I think it's just somebody... Because she said, like, they were going around and blowing them. Like, the yeah. fluffer does everything. Bruh. Imagine how many loads got to actually You ever, you ever see the, the video? Do you ever see, the, like, any kind of video with, like, a fluffer in it? No. It, I'm so jealous of those people, because they just, like, sit around and wait for the, like, the... Like who filming. are you jealous of? The fluffer? Yeah, they just get to fuck. Like they're what? just sitting there. Fucking. No, the fluffer is the worst job in America. They're not fucking. They're, they're jerking just, people off. <laughs> you're just you're just walking around set no, with a little bit. You of don't need to fluff women. You <laughs> could just lube them up. No, they but they they have guy ones that do it. To g- other guys? No, to girls. I've seen ones with the girls. Why would the girl That's need to be fluffed? That's just a porn. We just <laughs> record that. Jack is not watching the right things. I think Jack, it's like a, Jack's getting tricked gay? into the wrong internship. I think it's like a fluffer subgenre where it's like the fluffer's doing the fucking, and that's what yeah. you're... So that's no. just a porn star. You're just watching a kinky it's porn a, It's a thin, It's a thin so. line between fluffer and porn star, and I think they crossed yeah, over a fluffer's like an intern. <laughs> yeah. Could you imagine yeah. in the industry, like, a how'd throat, you get your start fluffer? A throat goat. Ugh. Bro, that would be crazy. You're just a throat goat. You're Nancy just Rogan with all Nancy these Nancy Rogan. <laughs> Joe Rogan's wife. <laughs> Nancy she's Reagan. She's a fluffer. Oh, that's what you told me. What? That she's a throat goat. Nancy, Nancy Reagan. Reagan. Yeah. yeah, she's a fluffer. Yo, that bitch looks crazy, because I would have never thought she was slucking and slopping. How big do you think was Reagan's cock? <laughs> <laughs> Who said that she was the throat goat? Was it Reagan? 
<laughs> or was it one of his boys? No, it was like the entire like the industry exactly. Was Reagan the one who got his head blown off? No, no, no. That was <laughs> Clinton. <laughs> There's quite a bit. <laughs> what? Who was Clinton? <laughs> oh shit. Kennedy. Do not say this on this pod. <laughs> I'm in the wrong dimension. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing the wrong universe uh, right uh, now. Uh, oh, Mandela effect initiated. Not Bring. Mandela effect. Oh, God, God, no. We'll be killed. You'll be killed. Bring, just it, like, ah! bring it back into our universe, Land. Delete the audio. Go back in my son. <laughs> um, the no, fuck thinking to take off. Clinton. Uh, <laughs> who was it? Who, Ken, Kennedy. 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 What about his wife? His wife was a little Jackie, number. Jackie, oh, you ever see her teeth? No, Disgusting. No. I wouldn't want her fluffing me. Fuck. You guys... She's you, not you a know, fluffer. She's like a, a jagger. About, you know a lot about first ladies. Who's the first lady of this of this president? What? Jill Biden. Jill Biden? Yes. I thought <laughs> you said Joe Biden again. Like it's Joe Do you Biden. know who the first... I don't know what she looks like. The, the, the second man of the United States is? The second man? Fuck no. Doug Eganoff. That sounds like one of those jo like jerk jokes, like jerk handing off. Yeah, you, you call up the bar and like, hey, to, is, is, what's his name? He's married to Camilla Harris. Is what, no, what's his Doug first Aganoff name? Last name? Doug Eganoff. Eganoff? Eganoff. Jack Eganoff. <laughs> like, doesn't it sound like Jack and off or something? I can like name, that? I, I, pretty first ladies for quite a bit. I feel like you know at least 30% of them. Grover Cleveland. Well, no, let's go, to, <laughs> let's go in order, right? First ladies. Uh, uh, and George, then, and George then Washington. Them. George Washington. Uh, Martha. Washington? Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> Thomas Jefferson. Uh, no, let's go back. Hamilton. Hamilton. He was not <laughs> a president. Who, but who was his wife? He didn't have... Oh, 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 oh Elizabeth Schuyler. Yeah. What's her name? Angelica Schuyler. Elizabeth Schuyler. Elizabeth. Angelica didn't exist. That name back then didn't exist. She's in the movie. She's, <laughs> She's a main character. When was that movie made? 2020. Thank you. Thank you. That he took it's a historical play. Artistic I mean, she. she it's has a, the play, and it's a book based on his actual life. Mm, mm. Do you ever wonder where names come from? Let's talk about it on the next episode. <laughs>